Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> hey guys, Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV, and we're gonna do another Zoom tutorial for OBS. And if you've seen the last Zoom tutorial, that plugin worked pretty well for about six months. Then it just kind of stopped working for me. I have no idea why. But it actually, Exceldro reached out to me and said, hey, I have a better plugin that you should really take a look at. And I kind of put it off, if, if I'm being honest with you, because you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it, it did break, so I fixed it with Exceldro. And I've been using his plugin ever since. So let's go in to OBS and take a look at what it's like to install this plugin, how to get it running properly. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you wanna see these plugins in action, I actually do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash lazytechtony. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in to some OBS right now. Okay, so this is OBS. Hello, I'm in OBS now. Look at me, so pretty. Um, what you want to do actually is you actually want to create a webcam scene and in this webcam scene you want nothing else in it no filters no frills no nothing we're going to do what's called a nested scene and effectively this means that whenever you have this scene running in any other scene as a nested scene whatever you cause an effect in this scene will effectively pun intended, effectively it'll be initiated on any other scene. So if I, we do this Zoom, which we're gonna demonstrate today, and I'm in the Just Chatting, I can do it there, or I can go to the game scene, there's no console on right now, but I can do it there too. So let's go back to the main scene here called webcam. You just wanna add a source, your regular video webcam source, whatever that might be. And then you wanna right click on the scene, not the source. This is where a lot of people get tripped up. Right click on the scene itself and then go to filters. Then from filters, you saw that we already added that plugin before, but we'll go ahead and add it again. If you've installed the move plugin correctly, you should be able to click on the plus sign here at the bottom and click on move source. For the purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and just call it zoom. That's it. So. With Zoom installed, we're gonna make sure that the source is uh, selected correctly, which is the J5 Create webcam. I personally don't wanna create any kind of start delay, which would you know uh, counteract what the Zoom effect is uh, trying to do, but you might wanna do a start delay for something else, get creative. Custom duration. This effectively means that whatever the time is from this point here to the zoom in, it's that time frame. So right now the default is set to 300 milliseconds. We'll go ahead and set it to 500 milliseconds. And once it pulls in, once it, or rather pushes in, once it pushes in for the zoom, I want it to stay zoomed for at least 750 milliseconds. The easing in, easing out, all that stuff, I'm just gonna leave alone. Now there's more stuff at the bottom. Here's a really cool thing with the latest version of OBS. You can actually shrink your preview window. Look at that. Now you can see a lot more. Before you couldn't, but now you can, which is great. Uh, now this is the really, really important part. You wanna affect the transform, okay? So we're gonna move this pop-up window over here to the right-hand side, and then you wanna click on the preview window so you see a red border around you, and you want to put that window in the, for this purpose, in the upper right-hand corner, and then just pull the corner down with your left mouse. So what does it say for the purposes of this video, this is the zoom that we're looking for. We don't want it to be too meme -y. We don't want it to be too in your face. This is a good zoom, and we're gonna go ahead and say get transform. That's it. We got the transform, whatever these coordinates are, because I don't do math, whatever these coordinates are, the computer, OBS, is going to remember that. Now, we're going to scroll down to visibility and order. Don't change that. You can add audio if you want to. I'm not, but you can if you want to. If you want to do like the law and order, you can put that in there. And then what's very, very important are the actions. So the start trigger is going to be enable. The stop trigger is going to be deactivate. And then lastly, in this section here, the next move is going to be reverse. 
If you do not reverse it, it'll stay zoomed in like it is right now, and it will not zoom back out unless you have like a separate hockey for that, but that becomes very, very cumbersome. Now, if you wanna test this, you wanna go back to the preview window, right click on it, go to transform, and then click to fit to screen. This will put the webcam back to what it was by default. And then after that, you click on start and it should work fine. Boom, there you go. And that's exactly what we're looking for. But of course, you don't wanna initiate all this through the webcam settings and going, that's just, that's just silly, right? So we're gonna create a hotkey. So to create the hotkey, that's all saved up there. You wanna click on settings of OBS and then go to hotkeys and you can search for the name of the filter you just created, which is really, really cool now. So we'll just go ahead and search for zoom because that's what we called it, right? It's so cool. And then uh, you put your cursor in the zoom for webcam because it's specifically for that filter of that scene and just choose whatever you want the hotkey to be. I'm gonna go ahead and choose control backslash like that. And you'll notice uh, down there is like a warning symbol, basically telling you, hey, there's another filter that's using this exact same hockey. For my purposes, that's fine. And the only reason why that it's fine is because that I have like three different webcams around me that all use that same hockey to zoom in. So no matter if you're using this webcam or that webcam or the one that's over there, but it's turned off, but I could turn it back on, I can just hit the same hotkey and they will all zoom in no matter which webcam is active. So that just works for me. It might not work for you, but that's what works for me. So after that, all after all that's applied and everything, you've created the hockey, you can go into things like Touch Portal or I have a Stream Deck or you know even Leorn Board if you'd like and create a button for that hockey and boom, just it works wonderfully. And like I said, I know the other one worked for a certain amount of time. I've been using this one a lot longer and a lot of the other creators are also utilizing this methodology because it's a lot more stable. So if you tried the motion effect, and no disrespect to that creator whatsoever, but if you did try the motion effect, this one works a lot better. So what I have to say to you folks is, OBS is kind of like trial and error. Like the main reason why I'm creating this tutorial was because the previous tutorial that I looked up for this move effect was out of date. So this is the latest version of OBS, the latest version of the move effect for 20, March, 2022. If it changes in April, this may or may not apply. But no matter what the case is, I hope you found this to be useful. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you stream, if you want to talk about anything else, we do have a Discord that's open to the public. And I hope to see you guys in the next video as well too. So until the next one, have a good one. Later. Hi.